John Elliott. I'm Heaven Jordan. And uh, this is for uh, African American Histories. Um, we chose the piece, The New Negro by Alan Locke, um, for many reasons. Uh, I think it fits in our culture today of what it means to be a new Negro. But um, here we go. Okay, so what does it mean to be a new Negro? Um, I, I think what Alan Locke was reaching out for in the video was, I mean, in the piece was to to give us like a sense of what it meant in the, in the 20th century coming up, of uh, like changing the old ways or the old fashioned ways of being like an old Negro and getting to a new culture, um, a renaissance of, of like pizzazz and of like his culture in Harlem and an larger city in America, a Negro sort of. I, um, I believe that like he, he was getting to a point where he wanted people to see that Negroes are, are changing, becoming more, more higher intellectual beings by themselves. Like I feel like he wanted to change the way um, the way Negroes perceive themselves in America, as well as the way whites perceive the Negroes in America as a whole. And I feel like it was accomplished through this piece. And many times he stated, you know, that he wanted to take things to change, and one of the viewpoints of what we see ourselves as Negroes to change. So. I think that was just the whole point of being a Negro. It's being on a different level of what the old Negroes were and just opening it up to new doors in our culture. Um, so, um, Heaven, how, how do you feel, like, what have you learned in this piece that could help you, you know, in, in life today? Um, I learned that there once was unity in the black community. A lot goes into, just in, um, detail about how Harlem was in the 1920s and how whether you are African or from the West Indies or you are African American, they all helped each other and supported each other business wise or whether you're in school or if you're an artist or a poet, whatever, or a doctor, they all supported each other. And I feel like we need to get back to that now as a, as a black community, whether you are Half, half black or African or African American, we all need to continue to support each other. So, yeah. All right, um, so we were told to give like an explanation of what we see to now, to today as a new Negro. Um, so we had a couple of reasons about that. Um, reason number one, I believe, what a new Negro is today, is someone who's, and yes, people use the word woke, you know, and in context of uh, someone who is like intellectually awoken to the, not necessarily the white man's perspectives of how he sees us as white people, but that's just how we see ourselves in our community. Um, I feel like the Negro, new Negro today is someone who is intellectually smart, um, strong-minded, strong-willed, has their own perspective on life and have the goals of what we want to get to. Um, an example of that could be like uh, Miss Thompson, our teacher. She's an independent, um, cool, really cool person, but she knows what she wants to get to in life. And um, she's a strong woman, and she's like smart enough to understand not to like him take advantage of her and her goals. I wish she wanted to get to in life, you know. Uh, that's my example. Um, have you, have you um, yeah, me, I think a new Negro in the 21st century is someone who's driven, someone who challenges uh, the world today. Someone like, kind of like Obama-ish, like he went to the highest tier of political, uh, what's the word? That's what I mean. The, yeah. The pyramid. Pyramid, so someone that has done the highest thing as a black man. So that's what new, new Negro to me would be for the 21st century. And lastly, um, what I learned through this is that um, there are times in American culture where um, it's best to support our own like black people, not like in a negative way, but a positive way to uplift them, um, and to show that we as a people aren't, aren't just Neanderthals or just hard workers or laborers, but we're intellectually as well as mentally, we're focused and well-driven on our own goals not saying that our ancestors weren't, but we as the people today coming up in this world, we have to be smart, we have to be uh, woken to what's out there for us and what we're able to do. And I think um, 
following what Alan Rockett was talking about with Harlem and the Renaissance period, you know, everyone had something they want to do nowadays, photography, models, um, singing, acting, um, playing sports, you know, all part of what Negroes can do. I thought it was a whole 